Asante sana tafadhali tuketi. Mine once more is to thank all of you especially our leadership from the county assembly the national assembly for creating time to come and dialogue with our officers and the commission i know how busy you are most of you have bursary distribution others have many other things that you are doing but you took time to come and have a discussion with us and the commission because it's the right thing to do now that you know the mandate of the commission you have been taken through the plan please when called upon to participate, please be available. And I think now the commission knows what you need to do. In every stage of implementation, let's carry along our elected leaders. <laughs> elected leaders are very important. And President William Bruto and I know that. That is why in our part of the coalition, we have regular PG meetings to talk with our leaders because they are the representatives of the people. And if you want to know what is going on, you talk with the leaders. If you don't talk to MCAs from Mashinani, you think you know anything. So we must continue engaging our leaders. And please, let's take part in this program. It's a good program. Along the way, there will be employment opportunities for your people. You will be consulted so that uh, we, we, we all work, work, work together. There is a saying in my community that buffaloes don't move in a herd because they like each other. No. They move together because of the danger of walking alone. That's why you go to Masai Mara, you see buffaloes moving in a big herd. In one time, one of them is left behind. In a chukuliwa na simba, in a guanyama. Let's work together. And uh, this thing has no political line. It's a good program. You have listened. It's about the people. It's about their future. It's about the environment. It's about pollution. It's about of greening our city. It's about of creating opportunities for our people. Let us work together, and the commission and the CEO, they'll involve the leaders in every stage so that we all work together and see the successful uh, implementation of this program. Uh, number two, the MP Kamukoji has raised an issue uh, in uh, informal settlements. Wanyonyi, you know what you need to do? Yeah, you know what you need to do? Yeah, so that uh, we have very clear instructions with our leaders in the security sector. They know what they must do. And I want you leaders to help us in oversighting them the way the MP Kamukoji has said. Now I know there's a problem. So you come to commission and mimi nae, tutajua why. We'll find out why. Pombe iko kwa slums. We'll find out. Nani OCS hapo, nani OSPD hapo. Na tumesema sisi ya tubiji watu transfer. Tumetoka kwa hiyo era. If you don't work, pure box in your money. Because you don't want to transfer a problem from Nairobi to Kitui. Because this is the same country. If a fellow does not perform in Nairobi, what will make him perform in uh, Kitui? So we'll do what we need to do. Now, leaders, I'll invite you for a conference to discuss drug and substance abuse. I'll invite all the members of parliament in Nairobi all the MCAs, all the sub-county police commanders, all the officer commanding police stations, all the chiefs, all the assistant chiefs, how we work together, you know, so that you lead us, we don't want you to get involved in that fight, because you what you have to do, and you have to do it, and you have to pick up the bomb, wale wenye kuuza wako na kura wale ya kuuza wako nayo lakini mkikubalia wakunywe hamtakuwa na muti ya kuwapigia nyinyi kwa watakuwa wamekufa yote so what you help us only is oversight mnatuambia area fulani inaendelea mzuri area fulani the OCS has been compromised ni muti ya kuchukua hongo we take action that's all we want from the leaders and where we have started is working very well you know the leaders are really supporting the program 
and I want the people of Nairobi we work together. So we'll have that conference in the next two weeks. We'll notify you. I hope everybody will come. It's a problem and a big one. Many people in Nairobi have died. Wapombe, but it is not even reported. Wakikuva kwa slums, pahali wanakunywa, wadaeko kwa mutu ya Nairobi wanatarimuka. That is what is happening. You know, and it's a serious problem. So I'll invite you leaders. Let us discuss. This is our country. This is our children. At the end of it all, we are parents. We see what is happening. Let us not pretend that we are special. Where we can talk as a book, you don't know where your child goes. That we want to be back at these police officers. He or drugs, we are going to be able to do it. Because nobody is immune from this problem. So we'll have that conversation so that uh, we all talk the same language due to end there. Honorable Yusuf has raised the issue of demolitions and evictions. Our administration made it very clear that where there is a court order, before it is implemented, that matter must be discussed in the respective security committee so that one, it is done in a humane manner. Number two, you decide where those people will go. You cannot come in the dead of the night, evict people, demolish their shelters, and leave them out there. So I, I still want to find out, uh, County Commissioner, that matter that happened in Gekomba. Did our officers oversee it? If they did, tutakuwa na shida. Because we shall not give security to anybody to demolish structures, shelters, houses, business premises, unless and until the matter has been discussed extensively in the respective security organ so that people are dignified, so that property is not destroyed, and people are not left to be destitute because our administration wants to dignify the people of Kenya. And I want to say, DG, let's be very careful. Let's be very careful. Let us not have a war with Wananchi. To speak in Wananchi wale wale tuchagua, let us be empathetic. Let us, if people must move, let there be an engagement and let people get adequate notice so that they can prepare for their next life ahead. You can't wake up one morning and terminate people's life. It is not right. So it's our DG. So it's something that we need to, 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 to have that discussion. And that is why we stopped provision of security for demolitions and evictions, so that it can create a mechanism for discussion and consultation so that people are dignified, so that people are not unnecessarily harassed. You know? And in this city of Nairobi, you people were elected. I was elected myself as an MB. I am elected as deputy president. Me na you are mabokido or two yaraya. You harass people. Bomole hawa. Tupa o kwalori kama gunia. Chukua viti ya uharibu. You have a date with those people in another three years. Pale. Pale. Kwadebe. Pale kwadebe. Hapo inakuwa gao de tikali sana. And one inch, ukiona wa menyamaza, the way wa menyamaza, ujue, wanangoja. Let's stick in five people. These are human beings. No matter what we want to do, people first, because leadership is about the people. Nobody lead potatoes or arrow roots. Ama mawe, unaongoza wa na inch. Ile yatua unachukua, ujue ni wa na inch, una unafanya juu yao and you must empathize with them and always put yourself in their shoes as you make decisions ni sawa tunataka muji kuwe safi tunataka kila kitu ifanyike lakini huu muji ni wananchi nani tunafanyia kazi all those changes you want to do are for who the people must be in the center of every conversation when we make decisions that have a negative impact on the people. 
that is my own understanding of the way leadership goes na wengine wetu tuchukue hatua hii tutakuja kuona pale mbele vile itaka kinda raia wanangoja tu najua they have a date with us every five years wanangoja pale now that is the only time they have an opportunity to deal with many things so let's be empathetic let's be considerate let us be reasonable and let's consult for heaven's sake how wananchi walikuchagua if you want to take an action that is injurious to them have a conversation with them sugumzia hawa hawa si mawe si chuma ni watu ni binadamu sugumza nao mkubaliane then you agree the way we have called you here they will be relocations how do we do it humanly let them see aende la pale na mofsa wetu aitane mkutano watu wapewe nafasi waelezwe waulize maswali wajipiwe waseme tupatiwe muda we need three months to do this that let's have that discussion because people are people and people must be respected in all fronts so mimi nataka kushukuru viongozi wote i want to thank our senior officers in government the ministers the pscs the head ceos of state agencies who came this narobi rivers program must succeed we'll give it our all from my office here we'll support where we need to support and I'll continue creating a mechanism for engagement with the leaders so that we are better people all the time otherwise mimi nataka niseme asante sana karibuni tena na tena muta tutamwalika nyinyi tukule na nyinyi lunch hapa as you go back to work mukifika musalimiane sisi tuko kazini hatuna mambo mingi kama kuna watu walifikiria iko siasa inaitano hapa hapa hakuna siasa iko mbali iko mbali sana huko huko mbele na ikifika hakuna mtu wako na mtoto kwa mgongo si ndio na yule yako naye si atapatia nyanya yake amshikie eh so let's let's work Let's work for the people of Kenya. Let's work on our programs. Let's dignify our people. Let our people live in a better way. Let us make a difference so that you can say before you are elected, I found my word this way. In five years, I have left it this way. Hii mtu ikisafishwa vile mmechoke alifanya along. Even if that's your only legacy, it's a good legacy. It's a very good legacy. So tutasaidiana sana so rose somebody to come and give direction and some prayers or something so asante sana may god bless you thank you your excellency for your counsel for our city we continue to pride in as the green city in the sun and a possibility